Hey everybody, this is Enrico, back on your computer screens. You know that's right. <laughs> Japan has been going on a sorts of witch hunt with cracking down people that are associated with drugs. A lot of people are very mad because they said that tabloids actually start some of these rumors causing these entertainers to quit. So in Japan, you know, it's very conservative in a way. And if your name is associated with the word drug in any type of way and people find out about it, most people will believe it. They will question it. Some people are very nosy for lack of a better word, they, they, you know, they love to know what's going on. Even though Japanese culture, they try not to be so into other people's business. But <laughs> deep down, they some nosy people and tabloids are everything. And they love seeing the dirt and the pictures and all that is going on with these celebrities that are always seen as pure and just on the right path. And... Many celebrities in Japan have jumped ship, <laughs> and it's, it's not always just simply because they've actually done anything wrong, just because their reputation has been tarnished, and they decide, you know what, I'm done with it, I'm not going to do this anymore, you all think what you want to think, because that dark cloud follows you, and there's not really much you can do. People are going to believe what they want to believe. Japanese people, for the most part, are going to scrutinize you online, and you're going to see it. I am the type of person that knows how to separate the online world and the real world, and I'm not really a big social media person. When I go on social media, I like to post what I want to post, like a few pictures, and I'm out. That's it. I do not stay on that I, I can't i can't stay on there i don't like marinating in social media but in asia especially in korea and japan china too i mean east asia is like the kings and queens of internet bullying <laughs> so they say whatever they want to say online because they wouldn't say that in person and a lot of the celebrities are under a lot of pressure and they choose not to put up with it so in the past there have been celebrities that were very talented had huge booming careers who decided you know what the war ain't that cold i'm gonna jump ship so they they stood okay i'm gone Pew! down into the deep ocean blue and some of them look very happy after experiencing this and you know more power to you if that's what you decided you want to do i'm all for it i do believe that these entertainers have made a whole lot of money off of their very fruitful careers and they decide i do not want to deal with people constantly saying negative things about me <laughs> There's some that have been thrown in jail. <laughs> I mean, that that tea is hot. And you know, they just admit to doing it. Also got a warrant out of Nevada County. Have you used drugs before? Only weed. Yeah, I started smoking a little bit, um, a little bit of uh, meth. I haven't touched anything at all. Okay. Are you guys gonna release me or? Well, you're gonna go to court. Bye, Felicia. And they real ones. They really are, for being honest. And it's like, might as well, because y'all think I did it anyway. So why would I sit and deny it? All the celebrities are strongly trying to deny it. And they're real ones, too, because they're saying, I'm not going to let this define me or have you all push me out or force this blame game on me when I didn't do it. Sometimes it's hard to find the truth because you think, well, why did these celebrities leave so quickly? Why didn't they stand up for themselves? Maybe they did do it. But I think it's just tiring and no one wants to go through that. And then maybe they did actually do it and they're serving out their punishment instead of actually going to jail or having the public constantly talk about them. This is what they decide to do. If they like it, 
I love it. Yeah, I'm all for people being happy, whether they did it or they didn't. The tabloids, by the way, they have to eat too. You know, it's hard to say whether they were wrong or if they were right or if tabloids have truth in them or they don't. But I will say that at the end of the day, everyone has a business, the entertainers, the tabloids, to keep people entertained. So it is up to the entertainers and to the companies and to the people to believe what they want to believe and also see what the truth is. And not just be so quick to destroy people and knock people down and destroy people's careers over this. And it's a very hard thing. It's like a blurred line. And, you know, I'm, I'm over it. Enough is enough with it. It is what it is. I do feel like that after a while, if it's lies, a lot of the very talented entertainers in Japan will end up disappearing. And we don't want that. But meanwhile, I look at all the older movies of some of these celebrities. I was a huge fan of some of them. And I will remember the good old days, what used to be. So, you guys, this is a lot to think about. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. <laughs> also, have a blog on East Asian pop culture. The link is always in the description box below. <laughs> and remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real. And I will always be back.